There we go. Well, welcome, 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 welcome to this class and this practice and this time of introspection for yourself to feel. Um, I am feeling that we will probably do some legs up the wall towards the end. So just so you can set yourself up for that. And know you can always use a chair and throw your calves on the chair or on your couch if that works better. Okay, so let's take our, our sit and we come into our practice. We take this time to be quiet and introspective and to listen deeply and to separate from whatever's come before this moment to here. So just turning your palms up, friends, and let's take the thumb, index finger, and middle finger, just touch them together, just lightly. Let your backs of your hands rest. Lift yourself nice and tall. And as you exhale, close your eyes, drop your chin. Let a smile play on the corners of your mouth. Just as we settle, releasing anything that doesn't need to be here right now. We will all be waiting for you at the end of this practice. Bring your attention to your breath. Flow of your breath. flow of your life, the flow of your practice, the flow of seasons. Try to soften your eyes. You don't need to recede. They could just spread out. Maybe you can even feel your eyeballs. Spread to the corners of your eyes. Stay as you are. Inhale, and on your exhale, bring your palms together at your heart. Just start to spin the prayer wheel. And we'll start by spinning outwards, just extending the fingers out and down, and bringing it up, almost like this moment of self-blessing, self-awareness, this presence to feel this shift of life, seasons, this body, all of that. We just invite everything here. Okay, let's just do one more and end with the palms facing up. Bow your chin. And just feel what whatever you need drop into your hands. Love, security, vitality, fresh perspective groundedness. You take one more breath, just exactly as you are. Full inhale, full exhale. And then joining the palms together in front of your heart, one from tall, lift your chin. Exhale this breath. We will call ourselves home three times. Inhale. Oh. 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 Your hands to your thighs, lift your chin and open your eyes. Okay, let's start on your backs. Even though I said we're gonna, we are going to move a little bit, we'll just do a little wake up on your backs. You bring yourself down. Feel free to put a little support for your head. Good. And then once you're down, 
Let's just take maybe three or four breaths just to simply be, just feel yourself connecting to the floor, releasing through your breath, coming into your own heaviness. And then we'll just start with a nice stretch. So bring your palms together at your heart. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms. Extend your arms over your head. You can stretch your legs along. And just take a few moments to just be in this really um, elongated place. You might even take your hips for a little walk as you push one leg away and then the other one. Maybe you can do the same with the arms. Take one big breath here. Extend through the heels, through the palms. And as you exhale, let's bring the left knee into the chest, hug it in. Just let it float around here in and out or side to side. Tuck your chin a little bit. Okay, change the interlace of your fingers here. And we'll flip the palms, take the arms over the head, re extend the left leg. Now bring the right knee in, keep the interlace of the fingers, hug it in. Move it around a little bit. Good. Okay, change the interlace of your fingers here. Extend these arms, extend the right leg, big breath in. And as you breathe out, left knee in, hug it in. Maybe your hands might move down center of your shin if that's there. Just hug it in and out. Change the interlace of your fingers. Extend your arms, extend the leg, and bring the right knee in. Last time, just hug it in and out. Okay, set your right foot on the floor, where the knee is bent. Bring the left knee in, hug it in for one moment, and then cross the ankle over the knee. Open your arms out to the side, and let's just take this windshield wiper. And very different than we have both feet on the floor, so don't feel you need to move to your maximum and turn your palms down for support. Good. So in this shape, you can feel maybe that the action is more centered in the mid um, back, mid sides of the waist. Good. All right, bring the everything to center, right foot on the floor. Okay, walk the right foot in a little bit. Turn your palms down. Inhale. Now, as you exhale, just push the right foot down with the hips, even if they come up just like one inch. And then set them down. Inhale, arch your back. So you're pressing the groins to the ground. And then as you exhale, belly down, lift the hips again, even just a little bit. Flex the left foot, push the right foot down, and then lower. And then we'll move into thread the needle. So we bring the right thigh in, hands interlaced behind the thigh. And let's take a little bit of rocking side to side here. You might even move your ankles and your feet. Make everything up a little bit. Good. Okay, then settle into your place, whatever that is, where you can be in the stillness and feel the stretch happening. You don't need to push it too far enough to open. Take one more breath. I'm going to stretch the right leg up to the ceiling and push them, bringing my hands center of the thigh. I'm going to push the thigh away so the arms become straight and there's some resistance. Flex your feet, friends. See if you can pull your sit bones down to the ground. That might be a lot. One more breath. Okay, now pull this right leg in, take your hands, maybe they reach up over top and we just pull it in. Again, just stretching ourselves nicely here. You can grab your foot, you hold your foot, take your thumbs either side. One more breath, soften your face. And then we'll release, let the right foot come down, uncross the left leg, both feet to the floor. Just regular old windshield like for a few times. We're going to get all of that integrated, welcomed and received. Okay, both feet to the floor. Bring the right knee in, just hug it in for one moment. 
We'll cross the ankle over the knee. We will open the arms out to the side again. And we'll come to this windshield wiper. You know, let it be small to start, as small as it needs to be, as slow as it needs to be. And you listen to your breath. Even though this is happening, you might feel tight. And it feels fine. Bring yourself back to center. And then we'll bring the knee in for a thread the needle. Opposite interlace your fingers down in the thigh. And then flex your feet. Feel free to rock side to side for a few moments. Smile and breathe. We'll bring it into center with the feet flexed. I'm gonna hug it into a place where I can resist a little bit through the right knee, maybe through the left thigh even. Even as I hug it in, there's a little bit of resistance happening. Open your jaw, tuck your chin, guys. I say that even though we're not in the same room, but it happens. Okay, now I'm gonna start to straighten the left leg. Hands move to the center of the, of the left thigh and you're press the left thigh into the hands. Flex through your feet, your heels as best as you can. Melt your shoulders, your breath, your belly. Breathe into your shape, whatever it is. I notice for myself, you know, my hips are off balance. I'm just pressing the left hip away a little more. Okay, we're gonna bring this package in, release the hands, take them up and over. Maybe high, maybe the foot, maybe the back of the calf, whatever you've got here. And then just breathe as you gently welcome in this shape. Soften yourself around it. Beautiful breathing. And then release your hands. Lower the left foot to the floor, uncross the right, open the feet apart. Arms out and we come back to windshield wiper. A good friend here. A few times. Good. Okay. Let's bring the um, both knees into the chest and just hug them in and out. Let them move around a little bit here. We're just going to circle the knees. So you can keep your hands on your knees as you make these circles. So with the hands on the knees, it's not that big. A little circling, rolling on your sacrum, and then reverse, circle the opposite way, and release the hands, friends, to the floor, and continue to circle. And this time, let it be bigger. Maybe the knees come apart, but if you can keep them together, do your best. Then reverse, circle your legs the opposite way. Let your feet move, shins move, whatever wants to move. Okay, come back to center. So I'm just going to keep the legs elevated and maybe the heels are a little bit higher than the knees. Separate your knees apart and we're just going to start to egg beat. So you kind of find your egg beater motion. So we're really moving the knees, the hip joints getting a little circling. And if you add your feet, then the ankles get a circling. And feel free to make this big. Make it big if that works. Okay, reverse, egg beat in the opposite direction. Knees are moving, ankles, hips. Corners of your mouth are turning up. Okay, let's bring these knees into your chest. Maybe they come apart a little bit like you're doing happy baby, but the feet and heels stay down. And just rock the knees in and out. So maybe your hands move to the middle of your shins. Rock in and out. Okay, guys, we're going to take, um, oh boy, the name escapes me, but it doesn't even matter. You're just going to keep your legs where they are. The knees are, are apart and heading towards the armpits, even if they get nowhere near there. Take your arms to the inside of your knees, both arms. Then you're going to flip the palms like you're holding something really heavy there. Squeeze, if you can. Okay, I'm going to lift my tail, get the knees right into the arms. The arms are going to resist. The belly, you know, is working. I'm going to lift my head and look up. 
spread the fingers, spread your feet. Maybe your feet want to come together. That's fine. One more breath. Maybe push up a little higher. Get right into the belly. One more breath. And then release everything. Let the arms rest. Take your legs out. And rest completely in pseudo shavasana. Do nothing. Just breathe and receive. More full breath in, full breath out. Good. Okay. So from here, we're going to come up um, to standing. Maybe we'll sit for a moment, just take a moment to let everything regulate. So I'm going to bring the knees in and rock and roll several times. <laughs> so if that's not good for you, you just move to your side, just sit up. So I'm going to do this maybe another three times. I'm letting my feet come all the way over the head. If that's there for you, be free with your rocking. And then once you come upright, we're just going to sit for a moment, like I said. Just let everything come back. And you feel free to just close your eyes, rest your hands. You're still rocking and rolling. I love it. Your back loves it more. Okay, just take a moment. Let everything settle. So you bring yourself back into this body. Okay, I feel downward dog is going to happen first. So if you want a blanket to, you know, in case we do some knee stuff, keep it, keep it there. I'm just going to take my socks off. And like I said, downward dog, but you know, if you prefer child's pose, it's a okay. Puppy pose, you don't need to come all the way up. You can just stay here. Maybe you just walk your hands forward. You can even put a bolster underneath your chest if you like. So whichever one is fine. Place here to breathe and be. Feel. And if you're in downward dog, you know, as professional yogis, guys, you want to have equal weight in the hands and the feet. So maybe, you know, sometimes when we start yoga, you know, we tend to shorten the downward dog. That way, more, more weight is in the legs. Maybe you can extend your downward dog a little bit. Walk your feet back a little more. Move forward a little more. Take one more breath. Good. Okay, I'm going to walk the feet forward, the hands back until I'm in forward fold. So you take your time, find your place here if you need blocks. You need to hold on to your wall and your chair. Do that. And then melt yourself into this forward fold. Even pedal your knees a little bit if your legs still need to wake up. Good. Take one more breath here. Okay, I'm just going to roll up. So we'll bend the knees a lot. So you start by dropping the tailbone and press the feet into the floor. Roll yourself up. Last thing to come up will be your head. And just pause for a breath. You're going to reach the arms up over the head. And when you're ready, inhale, sweep your arms up. You look up, open your hands. Take a few elongating breaths. So you can even flip your palms like you're pressing something up here. As you inhale, and then maybe it's very heavy and softens as you exhale. Feel your body oscillating, moving. Okay, I'm going to stay like this for another few moments. And I just want you to put your mind into your feet and feel the heels, the inner and outer heels connecting. Feel the outer edges of your feet connecting. And then the balls of the feet. So if you lift your toes, you can feel the balls of the feet, the big toe, baby toe ball of the feet grounded. One more breath with your arms lifting. And then exhale. Keep that pressure in your feet. Release the arms down by your side. Turn your palms to face out. And then strengthen your legs. Yes. Like I said the other day, I took a class with Tara Jigal. We did this for 40 minutes. Just standing there. And it's so interesting what happens. And the brain says it needs to move. And it was it was a challenging practice. So you might, you know, even here, we're here for another maybe a few more breaths. Just feeling the connection of your feet, your legs, the lift of your heart, the melting of your tail. And see if there's anything else that's arising outside of this shape. 
Okay, last inhale. And if you exhale, bring both hands to your hips. You can let your toes soften. Okay. So I'm gonna grab the right leg behind me. Um, so if you wanna hold on to a wall or something, you can do that. Otherwise, shift your weight onto the left foot. I'm just gonna turn so you can see. And then I'm gonna bend the right leg, catch the foot, squeeze the knees together. We did this in class the other day. I'm gonna press that right knee down. Even as the knees are squeezed together, I'm anchoring the right knee down, pressing the foot into the hand. If it's too much for your shoulder, you know, hold on to the baby toe edge. Right. Now see if you can bring that right foot more to center. That's going to open the shoulder a little bit more. I'm going to take the left arm and reach up to the sky. And I'm just here. I'm not taking that foot out. The knees are in line. Like you're standing on one leg. Push the left foot down. And I'm going to switch this. We're releasing the foot and bringing this knee into your chest. Now you could take the left hand and hold it like we did on the floor. Use your feet. Rock your right hip. Breathe here, whatever you can do, whatever you're doing is good work. One more breath. We're gonna take this into tree pose. I'm gonna let that heel come to the foot. Oh yes, heel leg, wherever it is. Find your balance, put your arms wherever you need. Maybe down low, maybe up high. Anchor yourself. And if you're wobbling, that's okay. You know, changes every day. One more breath. Okay, I'm gonna bring the hands to the heart and then release the leg, but I'm gonna release it like I don't care. Let it move around a little bit. <laughs> if you fall out. And then we'll just come back to standing. So find your Tadasana. So you put your mind in your feet, all four corners of your feet, inner, outer heel, inner big toe ball of the foot, in outer baby toe ball of the foot. See if you can lift from your arches all the way up to the inner knees, all the way up to the inner thighs. And if you lift your toes, it might be more accessible. Okay, one more breath. And we're gonna let the toes relax, take the hands to the hips, and we do all that on the second side. So you know now what you need. Okay, so I start with taking the left foot, catch it, Bring the knees together, press that left knee down. Yeah, open your shoulder, strong in the right leg, strong everywhere except your smile, your eyes soft, and then you can reach the right arm up once you feel balanced. Okay, the left foot will probably be winging out. I'm gonna bring it into center as much as I can. And just find the strength here. If you're standing on both legs, wah! <laughs> one more breath. Okay, now I'm just gonna bring that knee in front. Maybe both hands come and hold it. And just find your strength in the right leg and the left leg, left hip, your eyes, your steadiness, your invitation to steadiness. Okay, one more breath. And then we're gonna float into tree. However you do that. Wobbling, all good, all good. It's the brain working. So embrace your wobbles. Embrace the moments of steadiness. Embrace your tree. Ah. Yeah, one more breath. Ah. Now I'm just going to let that leg come out like and move it around a little bit. Yes. Okay. Come back to mountain pose. Breathe here. Okay. So I'm just gonna to turn to the side. You're gonna separate your feet a little bit, maybe hip distance or outer hip distance apart. Make sure your feet are pointing straight. Inhale, sweep your arms up, look up. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your thighs as you bend your knees. We're just gonna rest the hands on the thighs here. Yes, okay, we're just gonna do some cat-cow. So let yourself move, really the tail moving, thighs moving, feel. Even add a little bit of feet in some way, if that works. If it doesn't, don't worry. Good. Okay, let's do one more cat and cow. And we're gonna bend the knees a little bit more. Maybe walk the feet apart a little more, take the forearms to your thighs, palms together. Really stick your butt out, friends. Move the 
So the hands that are the part of your arm that's resting on your thigh, anchor it and press the thigh back. And that's going to take the shoulders back. So I'll just, I'm just pushing back. Shoulders back, belly in. Maybe you can sit down a little more. Breathe. Bum back, bum back, bum back. Breathe, lift your toes. Sit down a little more. Okay, hands to the floor, straighten your legs. Rest, rest. In your forward fold, you can bend your knees, take them for a little walk if you like. Okay. So I don't know, my feet are not that far apart, but outer hip distance for sure. I'm going to take the right hand and reach it over to the left and just touch the floor. Take your left hand behind your left shin and just pull yourself to your left leg a little bit here. Shift your hips to the right. Breathe. Okay, and bring yourself to center and we're just going to change. So the left hand comes over to the right, wherever it's going to go. Knees can be bent here, it's all fine. Right hand behind the right chin. Pull yourself to your right leg, head to the, the forehead to knee idea. Shift the hips to the left. Breathe. Maybe stick your butt back a little more. Okay, we're just going to go back to the first side. And this time, maybe the left hand, so the right hand extends to the left. The left hand can grab hold of the outer right shin. And I'll just shift the hips to the right and bring my forehead towards the left knee. Breathe. And then switch again last time. So the right, uh, left hand comes up to the right. Maybe the right hand comes to the outer shin. Shift the hips to the left. Bring your forehead towards your right knee, anywhere there. And breathe. Good. Okay, keep the right hand where it is. Bring the left hand to the outer right shin. And then holding on to the outer shin, maybe you'll heel toe your feet a little wider. You just come to that place where you feel, I'm in a good stretchy place. And then we're just going to hang out and really press the thighs back, push into the you know, the standing parts of your feet, the bony parts of your feet. One more breath. And now just change your cross. So maybe you take the right arm, sneak it over top of the left. I'm going to bend my knees a little bit here and push the shins out. And uh, you might feel your butt wide. And if that's there for you, you can see what you need to do here. Good. And then release both hands to the floor. Lift your head and your heart. And let's just, I haven't changed the stance of my feet. I'm just going to wiggle the hips side to side a little bit. Good. Okay, come to center. We're going to turn the toes out, heels in. Sit down on your legs like a little froggy and bring your forearms back to your thighs like we did before. So here we are. Yeah. So you can walk your feet wider. You kind of see. Come down. Okay, maybe it's here. Maybe you take your hands to your thighs and be here. One more breath. And then just stand up. Heel toe your feet back to a comfortable distance. We'll come back to mountain pose. Just be here and breathe. Good. Okay, I'm going to turn to the side again. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the hands behind the back. We're going to do forward fold with the arms lifting. So I give you a warning if you need a strap or if you don't want to hold your hands, you just let them be free. So we'll start, you know, if you're holding your strap, it's all good. Palms face out. All right, interlace your fingers. Take the hands a little bit up the back. Move the shoulders together, shoulder blades together. Straighten the arms. Take the shoulders back, belly back. Thighs back. Stay here. Inhale. Now as you exhale, you're going to bend the knees. Start to take your chest down, head down. Reach the arms up over your head. If that's there, you bring the shoulder blades together. Tuck your chin. Maybe the arms can start to drop 
come over your head, even in your mind's eye. Shoulders away from the ears, shoulder blades together. More space, one more breath. Now we're gonna release the hands. You can just drop your strap if you're using it behind your heel. Trace your hands on the floor, reach out in front of you, bend your knees, come back here. Maybe you reach up, you stay low. One more breath, then rise up. Release your arms by your side. Breathe here. Okay, one more breath. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, the second side, opposite interlace. So if you're using your strap, reach down and grab it. Otherwise, change the interlace. Find the shoulder blades together. And just stand for a moment. Take your belly back, thighs back, heart lifted. Good, inhale. If you exhale, bend your knees, float yourself down, reach your arms up and over your head, and find that place where the shoulders move away from the ears, shoulder blades together. Good, let's floss a little bit. We'll drop this to one side, your head looks to the other. Let me just go to the other side, just do that a few times. The knees might be bending and straightening. All good. Good, come to center. As you exhale, release the hands, drop your strap if you're using it, and then come back to this chair pose. Widen the knees out. Good. Rise up. Release your arms. Pause. Okay, I'm coming down for full squat. So yogi's choice. We'll start by lifting the arms. Maybe you bend your knees, rest the forearms on the thighs. Maybe that's your squat. Come all the way down. Squat, whatever it is, be here, such a good pose. Maybe you want to reach the arms. If this is accessible for you, you'll go for it. If not, put your hands wherever you need. One more breath. Good. Okay, I'm coming to downward dog here, guys. We'll take the hands down and just find your dog. If it's a child's pose or a puppy pose, those are all good. But okay, find equal balance weights and the heels of your hands, the heels of your feet, even if the heels aren't touching the floor, you're gonna push down to the floor. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm downloading with the next one. We're gonna drop the right knee down. So if you're in child's pose, just come up to this shape, one knee down, left leg extended, and then turn the right hand out, drop the left foot so it's flat, Reach up into this version of Vashistasana. We did this in class the other day, certainly not restful, but here's what I'm going to add on. I'm going to bring that left foot. I'm just going to hop it in a little bit. So it's back here, just hop it in. I'm going to lift the right knee. Maybe grab the outer foot, take it out. You don't have to do this. If it's interesting, go for it. Okay, I'm going to release. Come back to your downward dog or child's pose. A moment. Okay, and then we're going to drop the left knee down. Right leg is extended. Find your place here. Drop the right foot flat. Turn the left hand out, the right arm up. And be here or shore it up. You get a little shorter. Lift the left leg, maybe take it out. Maybe you grab it. Grabbing, pushing, breathing, shaking. And releasing. Okay, now lie down and rest on your tummy. Let your feet flap. Feel. Pull your breath down. Well, okay. Done your asana. So. You're gonna bend the knees, catch hold of the tops of the feet. Maybe you do one at a time if you need to, or put your strap over your feet. Just pause. Okay, and start to stretch your toes. Pause. Good. Inhale. As you exhale, find your upward bow. So you push the feet back, lift yourself up wherever you go. Maybe the thighs lift, maybe not. Use your toes front. Pull the feet in towards each other if you can. And now release. Rest on your tummy. 
let's turn the toes under, just tuck the toes under and wag your heel side to side. Let your hips rock. And then we're gonna turn this into windshield wiper on your tummy. Bend your knees, rock your feet side to side. And let your whole body receive this, the thighs, hips, I'm gonna egg beat these feet now. So as you start to egg beat, some different rotation is happening, feel, embrace, and egg beat the opposite direction. Good. Okay, we're gonna rest now with the knees wide, soles of the feet or the inner edges of the feet together. Do nothing but breathe. Soften through your pelvic floor. Take one more full breath in. Maybe side out. And then we'll press back up and over to child's pose. Your version, knees wide or knees together, arms extended or resting under your head, holding on to your feet. Whatever would feel really good right now. Melt yourself in. Your forehead resting on the floor. You want to turn your head side to side a little bit. Massage your forehead. Okay. Okay. Come up to sit on the heels. Um, that's no good. You can make it your own. Whatever works. I feel like we've done all this thigh stuff. So. I'm just going to stretch a little bit. Take the right hand back. If this works for you, I'm going to just lift the hips, take the left arm, and just reach to a you know, side angle camel pose almost. And then lower, like a switch legs. Find that lift or whatever works for you. Just kneel in. I'm going to do one more on each side, exact same thing. Just lifting, opening. Noticing which side is more open, which side maybe is a little more sticky. And then come back, big pause here. I'm going to do one more here, which is just take both hands back and just kind of lean back. You know, you might just be on your hands, you might be nowhere near here, you might go onto your forearms. And then I'm really pressing the tops of the feet down and the knees down. Take the chin to the chest. Whatever you're doing here is your own. I honor it. Good, okay. And then we'll just come up and just sneak your legs out, maybe into cross legged, and we'll just stretch the legs out in front of us. Do a little bit of this side to side. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to come to legs up the wall. And that's not your jam, then that's fine. You can just put your bolster underneath your knees and be there. Also, oh, stay. Okay. And so I'm going to put the bolster underneath the hips. And again, if that's too much, you just put a blanket. And it's just nice support for the back. You also get the hips higher than the heart. I'm going to put my socks on. And I do have a strap nearby, so I'm just gonna pull it over and belt the legs in. This is, you know, you can, I do this often with a blanket too, just wrap a blanket around your feet. So whatever works just to kind of be here. And my hips are right at the wall. If that's not good for you to be this close, you can just move back. Okay, and I'm just gonna highland dance this strap around the legs. That doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. Don't really wind their shoes, these huge long straps. Crisscross, crisscross all the way up the calf. So I just belted the legs in. I'm going to rest, feet at the wall, arms in a comfortable place. And adjust your props as you need to. If you need something under your head, bring it in. And this legs up the wall, you know, is in. Lows the other day, 
don't know how even yoga came up, but the woman who was helping me said, oh, I love legs out the wall. Favorite pose. You know, maybe that's your one of your favorites too, but because it's so nourishing and healing, energizing, and also inviting our brains to be still. Just drop into your breath. Is there any sensations? Allowing the energy of the legs to move in a different direction. Softening any place that's available, back of the head, back of the heart. Now just when you start to settle, I want you to feel where the breath is being received in the body. Where do you feel that the breath is widening? And once you discover that place, just set your hours of observation there. See with that breath. And if you find you get lost in your thoughts, or just bring it back to that focal point of where the breath is being received the most right now. That as you keep your awareness on your breath, can you let your legs just fall heavy as if from the heels all the way into the hip crease, hip socket? Just feeling the cheeks of your tush soften. Just take a few more breaths here, a few more moments. Okay, so if you have your legs belted or blanketed or anything like that, just um, remove that prop and bring the legs back up the wall without the prop. And once you have that, your legs are up. Just maybe move your ankles around, your feet around a few times. Call it in circulation. Okay, now we're going to bend the knees and place the feet on the wall. I know I, I'm wearing my socks, you might be too. And they don't have to come down, they could stay high because we're going to lift the hips. So you find that place. You don't need to go super high. Your arms can come down, palms to the floor, or you could hold on to your bolster even. Good. And then feel your feet there and start to push into the wall. Even if your hips just lift a little bit, you might go all the way up, but you don't have to. Okay, if you do lift your hips all the way, you might walk your feet up a little higher. Take a few breaths. Good. And then we'll lower the hips back down, re extend the legs, and just rest. Okay, so you only go obviously as high as feels comfortable and safe. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. We'll bend the knees, feet to the wall, wherever you like. And just feel your feet into the wall. You can even lift your toes if you like. Anchor into the wall, start to lift the tailbone. Maybe that's as far as you get or you keep going. Chin tucks, breathe, you might walk your feet up higher. One more breath. And then lower your hips back down, re extend the legs, rest. Okay. If you have room, maybe we're going to open the legs a little wider apart. You don't need to go super wide. 
and then bend your knees. So remember when we had the feet on the floor, toes were pointed out a little bit. You were probably about this far away. So maybe, I don't know, I don't know what is this, maybe four feet, three feet between your knees. Take your arms down, feel your feet. Yes, you know what we're gonna do. So anchor the feet, start to lift, and maybe it just goes a little bit, maybe it goes a lot. Okay, good. And then I'm just gonna bring the knees in and out. If that works for you, just wave a little bit. Good. And then lower your hips down, re-extend the legs. They can stay that wide apart and just do nothing here. Let your feet turn out if they wanna do that. Readjust your head. Good. Just breathe. One more moment here. All right, just gonna bend the knees, bring them into the chest, and then we'll roll to one side. Just press yourself up. Okay, I'm just gonna move the bolster um, up a little bit so that I can get my hips on there as if I'm lying down. Okay, we're probably gonna float into Shavasana here. So do what you need to do, put on whatever you need to put on. Grab a little support for your head if you need it. And then once you come to lie down, you're gonna lift the hips and put the bolster underneath the hips. Okay. Take your time, make your adjustments. You might not need anything under your head with the hips lifting, you see. Okay, and then the legs can stay bent or they can go straight. Good. I'm just gonna rest here, whatever feels good for you. So different than when we use the block, inviting this body to rest comfortably. I say it like that really slow because you know it might not be comfortable for you. That's okay. This comfort is the entryway. We stay within our comfort all the time and we don't give ourselves opportunities to evolve, grow, and change. And that's the name of the game. Okay, so whatever you have here, legs straight or bent, I'm just gonna bring the left knee in, interlace your fingers, if you need your strap, use it. I'll just pull this blanket under my head now. I'm just gonna pull this left knee in and extend through the right heel, through the right foot. And at the same time as I'm pushing through the right heel, I'm grounding this right thigh down. Okay, one more breath. Okay, then we're just gonna switch sides. If you wanna reach your arms over your head for a moment like we did at the beginning, and then bring the right knee in, go for that. Change the interlace, and just be here for a few moments. And push out through the heels. Invite the left thigh to anchor. Okay, I'm just gonna extend the legs, take two moments and just rest. And then we'll bend the knees, feet to the floor. Lift your hips and you're just gonna slide this bolster past the hips so your tush comes down, but it's just right at the back of the hips. Then re-extend your legs. Now you can really anchor the thighs into the bolster, hopefully. Okay, bring the right knee in. Opposite interlace, and then find the press out through the right heel, the anchoring of the right thigh into the bolster if that's there. You don't even just feel, imagine it's happening. Okay, switch legs, change the interlace, put it in. and then extend the legs. We're gonna take the soles of the feet together to Vatikanasana. And hopefully this bolster is enough to support you. If it's not, you just pick yourself up, find something, throw it underneath. I'm gonna rest my hands on the tummy. Feel where your breath is here in this shape. Let everything just soften as best as you can. The shoulders, the heart, the jaw.
inviting your eyes to spread out to the inner and outer. As if you could look into your temples. And you're very welcome to stay here. We're going to float our way into Shavasana. So if there's anything else you need, you feel it in here. Maybe it's a happy baby, or it's a needle, or you're just fine as you are. You can cover your eyes. Just dropping in here, we're going to take about five minutes for Shavasana. And then we try really hard not to talk. And just let you have this experience in the quiet and stillness of your space. Shavasana. in your body in the place you're still holding. Most likely the same place you're always holding. And maybe name that place and say, my back is calm. And whatever body part it is, tell it it is calm. Soften more deeply, starting to provide more space for your breath. 
can feel it, tune into it. Simple act of being breathed as you are right now. And you're welcome to stay in your resting state for as long as you like. When you're ready to come out, just you know, honoring the movements, these little movements of awakening and of lengthening. And then hugging in. You bring your knees into your chest and just hug yourself as you rock side to side very gently. Whatever feels good. And you bring yourself onto your side, resting there for a few moments. And there's something magical that happens here on the side. It's almost that the body releases more deeply to the floor at the same time as you're feeling it's time to come up. You'll know once you hit that. <clears throat> and slowly, when you're ready, you'll bring yourself up to sitting and we'll just take a few moments in our seated pose to just feel everything that we have awakened, invited, received. And just resting in your stillness. So let's take the same mudra we started with. This time we'll have the palms face down. We'll just touch the thumb, index finger, middle finger pad together. Just dropping your chin towards your heart, dropping your jaw, and your inner gaze. And when you're ready, friends, you'll inhale, lengthen. And exhale and join these palms together in front of your heart. And bow again with deep reverence and honoring to this practice, to your practice, to your presence, to your willingness to practice. You know, sometimes I know, even before we get here, we're like, oh, you know, so many other things I could be doing. But at the end of your practice, you know, there's a gratitude for yourself for showing up, for doing the work. And all of that, friends, we'll seal this. As you inhale, lengthen, lift your chin. And exhale, this breath. And we'll join together in our May We Be Blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. And we'll seal that with one ohm. Inhale. Oh. Take a full breath in, breathe into your hands, get your sacred breath, lift your chin, open your eyes, and offer this home. And then we'll offer it up. And just really offer all your good energies out. It's going somewhere. <laughs> And bring it back. All right. So much love, so much gratitude for your presence, for your being here, for sharing this time, sharing this practice with me. Thank you so much, friends. All right. Have a great rest of your day, guys. And we'll see you on the next class. I'm taking all those. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs>